Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, founder of classtechtips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. Today, I want to show you how to make a map come to life using one of my favorite online tools, ThingLink. Now, ThingLink is available on the web, um, on an iPad, um, you name it. You can use it in um, a variety of tools. So I'm already logged in to my ThingLink here, and I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to put a picture of a map in the background and make that map come to life by adding information on top of it. So I'm going to choose an image, and right here in my desktop, I have a map that we're going to work with today. And so here it is on my screen. And so it's a map of New York State. And I can click to add a tag anywhere. And once I do, it'll put information there. So I'm going to go ahead down here and I'm going to click to add um, some a tag. And so it gives me a bunch of free ones to choose from. I'm going to go here and do the red one. And I'm going to make this map come to life by adding all sorts of information. So I can put here that this is New York City. One thing you might not know about NYC is it is nicknamed the Big Apple. And so when I save this tag, anytime someone hovers over this, that information I just added will pop up. I can also go ahead and add an image or add a tag here. Maybe I'll make this one blue with a question to make this an interactive map. What body of water is located in this spot? And so I'm going to save my tag, go down here to save my image. And now I have my New York State and you'll see my blue and my red pop up, and if I hover over it, the information I typed in will pop up. I can come back and edit it if I want to add more. Um, I can share it in a few different ways. So I could post it on Facebook or on a class Twitter page. I could send this link through Google Classroom or embed this in a class blog. Totally up to you. So if you want to make a map come to life, you upload your picture of your map to ThingLink and add tags with information. I showed you text tags, but you could also put a link to a YouTube video or a web page. It's totally up to you.